rappers and music producers. Today I made big plans to clean out the family garage. Ambitious plans. But as the garage door opened, I slowly regretted it. And I thought to myself, I'd rather just make a video about all the Amazon packages that fill up my music studio and not deal with this today. Goodbye. Thing. How much money do you think I spent just in the studio alone from Amazon stuff? Mm, $8,000. <laughs> First thing, it's on air sign to let my wife know because my son don't care that I'm recording on live, live streaming. Amazon purchase. This total mount that basically holds all of my remotes. This thing has come in real handy, especially because the more LED lights I got, the more I need holders. And this cam link, all of my cam links, I have three of them. Original one, I have a 4K one, and I have the S Plus. The wall panels. Mm. <laughs> I think we got two boxes of these originally, me and the homie, oh gosh, when he helped me put these up in the wall. But this wall was hideous before. Remember that wall? It was mm -hmm. like dirt all over the back of it. So I wanted something that looked aesthetically cool, especially with the light shining down. That was another Amazon purchase. This plan, for those who've been asking, it is not real. Got two of those because, you know, I wanted to look like it was Miami in here. Next item, these lights that are going throughout the entire room that are in the corners, those were an Amazon purchase. I wanna say I went through Fat Kid deals to get to it. The couch. Oh yeah. This futon, which folds out into a bed whenever I have guests over at the studio, is also something I got off of Amazon. This mini tripod really comes in handy for when you're like on the go and shooting. My AKG Perception 420 mic, which I don't even know if it's in here. Yes, it is. It's another Amazon purchase. It was the first microphone that I actually purchased for my studio. This came from Amazon. Yeah, they sent this little boy in a box. <laughs> What's up, baby? Bye. Next, this right here, my projector stand. Next. 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 This wall wow. outlet, Jackie LED. It rotates and you can have many different outlets for it. It has USB. Watch out, Papa. Mm, I love you. I don't want to pull it because there's a lot of stuff hooked up to it, but this thing is clutch, especially in hard to reach places. This is my microphone holder specifically for podcasting. I use it for my live streams, but I like to have it here whenever I want to come to the couch and have a guest for a podcast episode. These are made by Newer, which I have a lot of products by in this room. Purchase. Hello. This is not actually an item in here, but this is something I think you should definitely look into since you're watching this on YouTube. And this actually came from an Amazon purchase. I couldn't find it anywhere else. Now Barnes & Noble I had to find it on Amazon. The YouTube formula. Definitely check that out. The Stream Deck. This allows me to have the ultimate control over my live streams. Yes, that's Dada. The ultimate control over my streams by pushing buttons that change angles on OBS. The next thing, this black mat that you probably would never notice. It's a little bit dirty, so please <laughs> don't mind it. But the original purpose of buying this mat was the fact that I had a nasty little scratch on my old desk and I wanted to cover up. So the homie, oh gosh, let me know about these black mats that fit really nicely underneath your equipment. It comes in a few different sizes. It's a pretty good size mat, as you can see. Next, I got a few mic screens from Amazon, but this was super crucial because uh, it has a nylon on both sides. Also, <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy the things you find on Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely on Amazon. This right here, anytime you guys see stars in the background, it's this little thing right here. It doesn't look too powerful, but this skylight, bliss lights, the real deal. Plus my son freaking loves it. As I mentioned before, I have a few different cam links. These are what I hook up my DSLRs to in order to get a clean stream with my DSLRs for OBS. And next up, I have these Nano Leaf lights. This is an hourglass that I got from Amazon, really to remind me to get my ass up when I'm sitting down too long. This right here was just me having a whole lot of extra money and just buying a bunch of stuff because I got a nice little check or something. Also to keep my cameras rolling, I got these dummy batteries. These batteries basically give me all kind of battery life for as long as I keep the cameras on these things are helping come here have a seat thank you all right next thing I want to talk about this slider that I got from newer this slider itself that you see in those side angles that go left and right or some of my videos on YouTube this is something that was another Amazon purchase I took a chance on it the reviews were kind of like left and right but it's done me really right and I'm glad I have it also yeah I bought this I forgot I got this I got this battery this extended battery life for the slider because the slider's original battery only lasts three hours. This lasts six hours. Holding up this heavy, heavy slider for the entire duration 
addition of our strings is this newer tripod. But this thing is a heavy, heavy duty tripod and probably one of the only ones that I found that was a good price, but also able to keep this bad boy up. As you can tell, I have a lot of lighting in here. And one thing we did not talk about is this light up here. Elgato, this key light I can control from my desktop. All right, last item I want to show you is this newer dimmable ring light, the R18. The reason I like this one as opposed to the other newer ring lights is that it has a setting that allows you to not only control how bright it is, but also lets you do a little bit of coloring. So if I turn this on, turn this up, I can go bright with it. And I can also turn it to like more of a warmer color. That's so, nice. I like that. Right? So whenever I do my makeup tutorial. <laughs> and then last but not least, to give some of my videos some cinematic looks, I bought these bras that you put on the ring light to get like a moody feel. So that's pretty much it. I don't know, what do you guys think? Maybe we should do a part two. <laughs> it's a lot of stuff in there from Amazon. You thought we were done. How about part two, things that I did not use that I bought from Amazon. <laughs> I got a whole lot of those like a pyramid I can tell you a story about later on. If there's any other requests that you guys have, if you want a deeper review on one of these items that you've seen, let me know. Appreciate you watching the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, more content coming. Peace.